everyone so today's video this is going to be actually a reviewer request I had somebody ask um, in the comment section of one of my other videos if I would do a um, video as far as my favorite gym scents go so that's what this is going to be uh, and with that in mind I chose these for several reasons one because I think they're appropriate as far as the scent profile goes for the gym um, you know, it, it, it's, it's fitting. Uh, a lot of them are aquatic or fresh and clean scents. Um, they're also not overpowering. Uh, the other reasons there are really, there's two other reasons. One is they're not overly expensive because quite frankly, when I'm in the gym, I'm only there, you know, for the hour and a half, two hours. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, spend a ton of time in there, nor do I want it to be something, especially if I'm working out in the morning, that is going to conflict with whatever other scent I am wearing that day. Um, for that reason, I also choose fragrances that are not that long lasting, so that will really pretty much get sweated out throughout my workout. Um, so these are perfect for that. They are cheap, they are smell fantastic, they're fresh, clean smelling fragrances. Uh, but they're also not long lasting generally. So some of them last a little longer than others, but they don't conflict with, you know, whatever fragrance I'm going to wear for that day. So start with this. Uh, one of the ones just should be no surprise is very popular. Um, not a good voyage. This is one of, I think the top selling fragrances on Amazon. Um, you can pick this up super cheap. Discounter is 12 bucks. You can even get it on eBay for around that same price. Um, you know, it's fantastic. 3.4 ounce bottle uh, for $12. Can't beat it. As far as the scent goes, it's great. Very aquatic. Very, it's got a very prominent uh, melon note in it uh, or cucumber note. Well, kind of like melon or cucumber, maybe both. I don't know. Um, that's what stands out the most. Yeah, it kind of smells like cucumber and melon, but it's, it's got this really nice um, aquatic vibe. I mean, it's not a good voyage. It's not surprising, but it smells kind of like what you would expect the sea to smell like. You know, it's fruity, just very fresh, um, but it's also very masculine in a way. Um, I have gotten a lot of compliments from this. Uh, it's one of my girlfriend's favorites uh, for the gym sense. Um, I think for the value, this is a fantastic pickup. The performance on this is a little better uh, than some of the other scents I'm going to review. So this could be a scent that you wear throughout the day in a hot day, especially in the summer. Perfect for that. Uh, I wouldn't discount this, um, you know, as a standalone fragrance. Now, some people will say it smells syn syn you know, synthetic, and I can, I can understand that, but it still smells fantastic. You know, for $12, I, this is hard to beat. Um, so that's probably my number one gym scent. Uh, I know it's very popular, but not a good voyage. Uh, fantastic. It's a really cool bottle. Cool color. Again, it's supposed to be aquatic notes. But um, next on the list should probably not be a surprise either. Uh, this is Periellus Red. Very popular fragrance. Very uh, odd looking bottle. So yeah, that's all I'll say about that. But this is essentially a clone of uh, Armani's Aqua de Jo, the original. Um, it smells very similar to the original, and if anybody who's familiar with that knows that it's an aquatic fragrance, similar to Nautica Voyage, but it doesn't have that uh, cucumber melon smell to it. Uh, it is very clean, very masculine. This is one of the best selling fragrances in the entire world uh, for a reason. I wore this all throughout, not this, I wore Aqua de Jo, but I wore it all throughout um, you know, high school and the early years of undergrad. Um, and I got tons of compliments. It's very well received, uh, mass appealing fragrance. This is Aqua de Joe essentially, but what they did is Harry Ellis kind of mixed it up slightly. They added cinnamon to it. Um, it gives it this different, just I mean, what cinnamon does, it's kind of a spice accord to it uh, that is not prominent in the normal Aqua de Joe. Now, when you initially spray this, it is very synthetic smelling. It's kind of off putting, uh, especially up close. As it dries down, it becomes more. Uh, in line with Aqua de Jo. It smells more, less synthetic, essentially. Um, the dry down is a lot better, also if you're not close up, so the sea is a lot better. Close up, though, it does smell quite synthetic, but again, you could pick this up for under 20 bucks, 
$18, $12, depending on where you go, for, again, a 3.4 ounce bottle. Uh, it's unbeatable. The problem about this is performance sucks. Um, I don't get probably more than two hours out of this, which means it's perfect for the gym. It smells fresh, smells clean, smells just fantastic, masculine. Uh, it's way better than some kind of body spray, but it wears off. And the reason that's good for me is, you know, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's not going to conflict with whatever I'm going to wear throughout the day, especially if I'm working out in the morning. Uh, so this was another huge, uh, well, one of my favorites for, for the gym. Next on the list is another very popular fragrance, probably made very popular by, uh, Jeremy Fragrance. And this is F by Ferragamo. Um, this is a great fragrance. Uh, it smells, it's kind of got that shower gel vibe, uh, very fresh, very clean, doesn't have any aquatic notes or anything like that. Um, Spicy, it's clean, it does have slight powderiness to it, uh, but it smells very masculine. So if you're looking for something, I again, these are all masculine scents and I do apologize for that, but again, it's what I would wear to the gym. Um, so to any female you know, viewers, I do have several, um, you know, more, I guess, fragrances that kind of lean towards uh, the feminine side that I will be reviewing, uh, especially fragrances that my girlfriend wears um, so I will do reviews on that but this performance again is not great you know you're lucky if you get three or four hours out of it but it smells fantastic it smells very clean it smells just you know fresh it does like it has like I said it has a slight powderiness to it but it's good um, and masculine this is another great choice also super cheap you get this for about 20 bucks at discounters and this next one this is the last one um, but it's also my favorite. Uh, and this differs slightly from all the other ones because, well, I'll, I'll just tell you what it is first, but it's from the House of English Laundry. This is Riviera. This is a new pickup for me. I am a big fan of English Laundry, especially for the price. I would not pay retailer price. You know, Macy's is probably $85. Most Dillard's, Macy's, anything like that. The reason is this is a legit house. This is not some, you know, just crap discount fragrance. These are great fragrances. Now, would I pay $85 for them? Hell no. But for the discounted price, these are hard to beat. Uh, this, I picked this up, I think, last week? No, early this week. So I hadn't been wearing it too long, but I'm already blown away. This is one of my favorite from this house. Uh, actually, it's probably, it is my favorite that I've tried so far. And just to put that in perspective, so you know what I've tried from the house, I have tried Windsor, I've tried Notting Hill, I've tried... Um, Tahitian Waters, uh, and I have tried London. I actually have all of them, all of those, and Riviera. This is my favorite by far. <coughs> what does this smell like? Well, to me, it smells familiar. Like a lot of uh, English laundry scents, what they kind of do is, they don't clone necessarily, but they take popular fragrance and then they put a twist on it, put their own spin on it. So a lot of these resemble other fragrances. Windsor is similar spice bomb to some extent. London is similar to Aventus. Tisha Waters, I'm not really sure what uh, that is similar to. Uh, Cambridge Night is similar to Invictus Aqua. This is similar to Chanel Allure Home Sport. Not the extreme. It doesn't have that. Honestly, I prefer the normal um, low form sport, home sport. And the, re the reason is, home sport, sorry is uh, to me the extreme is very sweet. Uh, I know it's more popular. I don't like sweet fragrances like that. It's overpowering. I don't like ultramarine. I don't like a lot of those very sweet fragrances. I do like some of them that are kind of better balanced like Armani Code, but, or yeah, Armani Code for female. This smells just like Lore Home Sport though. It, it is slightly different. Um, it kind of almost has a YSL Y. Uh, it's, it's, to me, it smells similar. If you took YSL Y E D T and you mixed it with a low home sport, this is what this smells like to me, Riviera. Now, why this is different, like I said, this this will last longer. You at least get four hours out of this. It's not great, but this isn't gonna wear off in the gym. Um, you'll wear off a little quicker because you're sweating it out, but this will conflict with other fragrances. So if I'm gonna wear this to the gym, it's either I'm working on it at night, or work up in the morning, and I just wear this as my scent of the day. Um, again, you know, not a problem at all, but yeah, look at the price on these. Well, they not.
you know. It says compare at $24, but these are $85, so I don't know where the hell they're getting $24 from. But you can pick off these all day long at Macy's, um, not Macy's, um, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, any discounters like that. So anyway, that those are my go-tos <laughs> for the reasons I stated. Um, you know, if I didn't care um, or if I was going to wear a certain fragrance for the day, like I said, Rojo Elysium, Rojo Dove Elysium, Elysium uh, sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today for whatever reason, uh, then I would wear that for the gym because that is fantastic for the gym as well. And then I know it's not going to conflict because I'll just reapply it when I get back if it wears off. Um, so there are other scents that are great for the gym. You know, I just, you know, I wouldn't wear something like, you know, a lot of people think, well, blue fragrance, you know, um, Sauvage would be good. No. Uh, it's, especially when you're working out, it's really sweating that out. To me, it's off-putting. It's very peppery on the dry down, and that is not something I, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, gross people out or uh, scare people away at the gym necessarily. I just want to smell clean and fresh. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my video on that. Like I said, all these are super cheap pickups. Last year, really long time, and they smell fantastic. So I don't know that it, other than the Riviera. I don't know if I had to rank them favorite-wise. I really really don't know that I could. Um, maybe uh, maybe the Aqua de Joe, Periellus Red would be the bottom just because it does smell the most synthetic. But otherwise, Nautica Voyage and uh, Ferragamo F Black are both really good. And, you know, like I said, Periellus is good, too, for the money. It smells great. So thank you.